could have been a lot worse. Crews have been working on this project for months, but it took only seconds for a driver to put lives in danger. Good evening. I'm Jessica Coons. Paul was on assignment today. No one was killed when a driver blew past barricades and plummeted down the unfinished Bradley Avenue Bridge in Champaign onto I-57 yesterday. But as a construction manager told us today, it was a very close call and could have easily ended differently. We learned today the driver was ticketed for not obeying a traffic control device. WCI3's Emily Braun joins us now. So Emily, was there anyone in the driver's path when this happened yesterday? Jessica, there would have been if not for two things, bathroom breaks and lunch breaks. The construction manager told me today if it weren't for those, this crash would have likely turned deadly. This was the Bradley Avenue Bridge in Champaign. This is what's left of it now. Complete demo from uh, substructure all the way down. Crews are building a new bridge, safer than the one before. It's a big job. In the meantime... We go above and beyond the best that we can, always to protect our guys and the public. The problem is... The public just doesn't think it applies to them at certain times. A woman came barreling through and ended up like this. There are four different warnings in place to stop people from doing what this woman did. Here's number one, number two, number three, and if all else fails, number four, the fact that there's about a thousand feet between here and where the bridge gaps at the end. In this case, a fifth. We had a guy working on the side of the road and he tried to get the car to stop. They just weren't paying any attention to him and blew right past him like he wasn't even there. Todd Baker says there are no skid marks left on the bridge. There actually was one guy working right in that area that just had to leave to go use the restroom for a second. No sign of breaking. He missed it. They missed him. But there's a dent here and this dash cam video showing exactly where the car did come to a stop. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, if the crew had have been working on that slope wall at the time like they'd been doing all morning, there'd have been a couple of guys lost their lives. Speaking of dash cameras. <laughs> There's a lot of crazy drivers these days, so it's nice to have that backup in case something does happen. He lives close by and he just got one, but he's glad this video is not his. Not like that, no. Baker says before this, they never had any issues with drivers. He hopes their safety is not put in jeopardy again. Keep in mind, it could be your son or your daughter out there working. So in the end, his crews can finish the project that will make this road safe for everyone. The driver and her two passengers were taken to the hospital after this happened. We don't have any word on their condition at this time, but investigators are still looking into how and why this happened. Jessica? A lot of people at home asking that same question. All right, Emily, thank you so much.